In this video, we will generate multiplication tables. User will give a number and program will generate multiplication table for it. Right click on project directory and create new python file. Name it multiplication underscore table underscore generator dot py. Create welcome screen. Change program name here. Write input function. Show message to user. Which multiplication table do you want? Add backslash n at last to create line spacing in terminal window. Create new variable number. Add print statement and pass number as argument for testing purpose. Open terminal window. Run program using command python followed by program name. It is showing welcome screen. Give any number. It will print the number again. Remove print statement. Write if statement. Double equals to operator checks if the values of two operands are equal, then the condition becomes true. If user hasn't given any number, then if statement will execute. Number equals equals to single quotes means user has given empty string. Print message number was left empty. Write exit function from sys library to exit the program. Note that PyCharm automatically imported sys library for exit method. Syntax for importing library is keyword import followed by name of the library. Value that input function gets from the user is of string type. Typecast it to int. Create for loop. For loop in python is a control flow statement that is used to repeatedly execute a group of statements as long as the condition is satisfied. Such a type of statement is known as an iterative statement. Here we need it because we need to multiply the given number 10 times to generate multiplication table. Syntax to write for loop is keyword for variable name in this case it's i keyword in and then range function. It takes two arguments start value and stop value. Stop value should be one more than the upper limit. We need to run for loop 10 times therefore giving upper limit as 11. Loop will stop when value of i variable reaches 11. There are more ways to write for loop in python. We will discuss them in later videos. Write print function here. Create display format for multiplication table. Now create string placeholders. 
the placeholder is defined using curly brackets and then give name of string placeholder between the brackets create placeholder for multiplier create placeholder for result the format method formats the specified values and insert them inside the strings placeholder you must add dot after this string and then write format method give name of first string placeholder that is number pass variable name number as value add comma and then second string placeholder name multiplier give variable i as multiplier write string placeholder result its value will be variable number multiplied by variable i here asterisk is multiplication operator in python there are seven arithmetic operators addition subtraction multiplication division exponentiation floor division and modulus to make your code readable you can add comments using hash symbol it will not be shown in output let us take a look at how this code will work number will be shown at first then value of variable i when we run the program it will initially be 1 and then result will be calculated by multiplying number with variable i so 2 multiply by 1 will be 2 in second iteration variable i will become 2 and 2 multiplied by 2 will be 4 print statement will run till value of i becomes 10 for loop will stop when value of i becomes 11 remove comments for now open terminal run program it has generated multiplication table for 2 we need line spacing here write print function give empty string as argument open terminal and run program give number 4 as input there is no limit for the number you can give any number this program is now complete please move on to next video